KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a mostly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. And with your 2 p.m. update, and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. The Dow's off 192 points, well off of its lows. It's down about a half a percent. S&P off seven tenths, 27 points. NASDAQ 107 tenths, 85 points. Half percent for the Russell, that's nine points. Semis up one and seven tenths. Percent, that's the big loser, so to speak, off 52 bucks. You've got gold trading out at 1850.60. That's up $2. Silver's up 21 pennies, trading out at 2190. Lights we crude up 115.68 is the print. That's up a buck. Natural gas up 51 pennies. That's a big move there. 6% trading out at 865. And the 30 year treasury is off one full point. She's trading at 138.14. Let's go spend a little bit of time with our index charts out here. We'll begin by taking a look at the uh, Dow Jones in the upper left hand corner. What we can see here. Is one price has been able to clear its swing point from back in uh, May 17th. Uh, in fact, if anything, today has been a test and reject of that swing point. Could be forming an a, a, a to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Today is going to form bar number six of a TD9 count. So there could be a TD9 count top that forms uh, by next week. The S&P 500 is forming bar number six today, much like the S and much like the Dow. Hasn't been really much of a pullback here. It's been trading with inside the body of Friday's candle. Those are messages that the trend, as long as it's an inside day, and you know, that, that like today's not an inside day, but just looking at how price is trading with inside that, that's a bullish signal, not a bearish signal out here. You did get to higher highs inside the NDX 100, um, and it looks like you had to lower lows. So it's really kind of a neutral signal. Bar number five likely to complete, will complete today. The Russell 2000, it's got an A to B equals CD pattern. It's already in play, but no bearish reversal candle as we speak. So this may want higher ground as well. The semis, uh, they're holding the gap to the upside that took place on Friday. So that's a bullish message out here. Uh, the transports, um, I got to tell you, the transports, I, am I, I'm a technician out here. When I get to charts that are just like schizophrenic and I don't have much of a great uh, feel for them, the Dow Jones Transports fits that scenario for Stevie. With regard to the NASDAQ composite, nice roads to indicator bottom there. Doesn't really look too bearish when I take a look at today's candle versus yesterday versus Friday out there. The same for the New York Stock Exchange. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite uh, polar bear, David White's up next. Likely we have seen the bottom for the day. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you on Terrific Thursday.